Hello, you guys. It's your boy, Mainland. I'm currently making a do-it-yourself DIY recording studio booth out of my son's old playpen. Stay tuned. I'm not going to show you my bottom half and my draws. But we're not, we're not going to be weird about that. All right, guys, as you can see, I have taken apart everything that I can utilize from my son's playpen. And here you can see everything that will be thrown away. Don't need that. We need all of this. So these are the tools I'm using. All the connectors, all of the, these, we, you have to have um, clips. You got to have clips for this. It is what it is. And so cheap, seven, $8 at Walmart. Good to go. Right here, pieces from the playpen. And fortunate for me, I have a crap ton of uh, what we call packing blankets. Super crap ton of pack packing blankets. So as you can see, this is where we're at. You saw where we were before. It's time for me to get to building and show you something pretty, pretty ridiculous. Let's go. Why pay two to five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred dollars for a beautiful booth when you could do it yourself? All right, guys. Now I've built the skeleton out of a baby playpen of my own DIY vocal acoustic recording booth. There's that. Man, I'm sweat. I'm sweating. So if you look at that, there's the structure right there that I've now built to become the skeleton for. <sighs> The recording acoustic booth. I'm not playing around. No games here, people. No games. I'll get back to you when I put some skin on it, I guess you want to call it. That sounds weird. So after two and a half hours of working diligently to create an acoustic solo recording booth out of a baby's playpen, this is what we have. Yeah, yeah, out of a baby's playpen. Ha, ha, you're welcome. I actually didn't think about it. I actually should show you the whole thing all the way around. So here it is. I used the packaging blankets to 100% acoustically panel the inside. I gave it a rough, slight opening in the front. If I wanna create a pole and a curtain, I can. This is 100% pieces used out of a playpen besides the packing blankets and the clips. This is the back of it. And it is probably seven feet tall. I always want to make something seven feet, seven feet tall because my mentor that taught me how to rap, he's tall as hell. So if he can't fit in it, don't make it. That's just me. And that's my DIY solo recording acoustic booth. Took me about a couple hours, but didn't know if I was gonna have the right pieces. And guess what? Had everything I need. I make these videos because you know what? I love you guys. I love you guys. All alohas. Straight from the best island in the world. The biggest island in the world. The big island. No, I'm just joking. There is no best island because I know I'll get retribution for that. The best state in the world. Stop. You're already taking my words out of context. Jesus, you guys are so sensitive sometimes. God. You guys think the video was done? No, it's not. All right. I'm moving things aside in the studio to put the acoustic treated booth right here. You see that right there? You guys are gonna see it when it's all done. Let's go. All right. All right, I got it over here. All right, I got it over here, I got it over here. Whew. All right. One moment. All right, 
I got it right inside there. I don't know if you can see. One moment. All right. It's done. It's done. It's inside there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Microphone inside, stand inside. It's kind of dark, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll turn the light on, this light. Let me do that first. Let's try this again. I turn this light on, but here it is. And we have our own acoustic baby playpen studio recording booth with my studio. We stranded records, man. Why spend five day, a hundred to a thousand dollars when you could do it your damn self? Let's work. All right. We are done with the setup. And I am very proud of this little solo recording booth that I created for solo artists coming here and Inspired to do bigger and better things. Right now, Brandy G is the one who's in here killing it. Looks like a freaking tower in here. But it's mine. And guess what? Only better, bigger music will come out of here. That's right. Knock him out, Mako. Knock him out. Hello, you guys. It's your boy, Mainly Man. I'm currently in my recording studio. And I made a YouTube video, or I made the clips for the video, maybe a week ago when I created a baby playpen and I turned it into a DIY, do-it-yourself um, solo recording booth. Here it is right here. And we were able to use it last night. I'm in the studio right now. Hear me out. I didn't want to post the YouTube until we actually tested it out and we gave it some really good listening. I want to give you my assessment of this. Having this microphone, even though I have a Chaotica eyeball on this Newman TLM-103 um, microphone, what I can tell you has changed. The Chaotica eyeball definitely quieted the atmosphere of my room. But when it came down to louder noises from an outside spectrum, we have a lot of rain. I live in a place where it rains quite often. The rain would definitely cause some interference on the microphone. This isolation booth actually took all outsides, outside sounds that were even a little bit more harsh. It took it fully away. I wanted to let you guys know my assessment because I felt it was important that you know, okay, did it do its job? Was I being overbearing? Was I creating too much? And now I can answer that. After hearing the vocals that we have now, they're so pristine. I'm gonna tell you how pristine they are. Having this ISO booth with a Newman microphone, TLM-103, and I also run it on a Rupert Neve preamp. Preamp, use a preamp for your microphone to amplify its sound, to give it the best version of itself. You never wanna run a very great microphone without a preamp. But what I learned was now, when I have the artist right here directly in front of this microphone, it will literally capture down to the 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 little sounds of when I tell you um there's a name for it I can't remember but but there's a specific specific like we're talking about down to the verbiage every articulated word it grasps a little bit differently now I want to give you just a little sound a little quick sound of what that means or what the vibe was like last night I had a, a beautiful artist in here Brandy G she did amazing and um She's recording a song called Drowning. And when I tell you the vocals are so pristine and so clear that I was like tripping that the Chaotica Eyeball does do a sufficient amount of help in a in a nice acoustic, uh, you know, rendered room. But having the this booth, game changer, 100% game changer. I'll run a little clip and this will close out this YouTube video. But I, now I can finally close it out because I've actually got to test it. So 
I'm going to solo out one of her sounds so you can hear it. And you'll hear how clear she is. Why is it so hard to let you go? Gotta fight these sorrows. You hear her down to the... Ugh. Fighting these demons on my own. Locked inside my mind, losing my control. You hear that? Now, I'll play for you the whole hook, everything recorded with that isolation, this DIY isolation solo booth. Guys, do it yourself. Don't pay a crazy amount of dollars if you don't have to. Aloha, and I appreciate you watching my YouTube video. It's We Stranded! Because we are, technically.